Hey there, everybody. Welcome into Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new here, hello. Like I said, my name is Eric. It's wonderful to meet you, to see you. And if you're returning, what is up, guys? Um, so I am coming through today with um, a bit of a channeled message. This is something that I spoke about in um, the SIP or on the SIP, which is our daily uh, collective reading, collective um, uh, true sidereal astrology session and tarot session. Um, but it's actually something that I channeled earlier in my day um, while I was, when I came out of meditation. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, and I just, and, and it's a pretty profound message <laughs> to be quite honest with you. Um, and it's something that spirit or that God source creator, that God really, really wants me to channel for the collective. Um, and like I said, this is something that I spoke of on the SIP, which it would be the Friday session of the SIP, which is, it's a two part session actually, because <laughs> my cat kind of got, got tangled up in it and I had to restart the session, but it's the session about the new moon in Leo that we are having the weekend of um, oh, actually, well, Saturday, August 27th, that weekend. Um, and it is something that I talked about in that session, but I'm really feeling guided, really feeling called and pushed to expand upon this and give this channeled message its own dedicated video. For those of you that maybe don't watch the SIP or didn't get a chance to see the SIP or like for those of you that are new to me and all that kind of stuff. Now, I will say that... Um, the message of this reading, um, number one, is pretty heavy. I'm not going to lie. It is pretty, pretty heavy. But also the nature of this, it, this seems to be a love or and or interpersonal relationship type of situation. It very well could be for love. Um, you know, that's definitely a baseline, but it doesn't have to be romantically involved. Um, it could be just an interpersonal thing this regardless as to how this would resonate for you the type of re relationship or the specific relationship that this would resonate for you in terms of despite regardless as to whatever that is this is uh this is definitely a message in terms of something that you are dealing with or something someone has been dealing with with other people okay now um the title of this reading, I don't know exactly how I'm going to title this just yet, but basically, um, well, okay, let me say this. What I channeled uh, earlier today was I was waking up out of a little bit of a nap, but it was also kind of supposed to be a meditative session, and I did kind of fall asleep a little bit because I did I need a little bit of more rest. Um, but as I was waking up out of um, out of this meditative period, restful period, sleepy time energy. Um, I saw in big, like over oversized character characters, I saw 1111. And as I was waking up, um, I saw that. And then right after that, I heard the song Happy Now, question mark, by uh, No Doubt. And it is off of their Tragic Kingdom album. If you guys are unfamiliar with the song, or if you just haven't heard it in a long time, I do encourage you to listen to it as... Um, it is very relevant to this situation. And I'm taking note of that because while No Doubt is one of my favorite bands, one of was one of my favorite bands as a kid, um, and, and on top of that, Tragic Kingdom is one of my absolute favorite albums from back then, um, I haven't listened to No Doubt or that album or that song in years. I can't, I really can't remember the last time I've listened to any of that. So whenever a song like that comes to me and it's completely out of the blue and it's not something I would normally listen to or it's not something in my regular rotation, I take specific note to it because there's no re other reason for that song to pop into my head other than the fact that there's a message contained with it. Now, if you're unfamiliar with that song, I'll give you a little bit of a, of a, of a back of a, of a um, description of it, but I encourage you to listen to it and, and let it rock for yourself, let it vibe for yourself. But basically in it, Gwen Stefani, who is the lead, who was the singer of um, No Doubt, uh, Gwen Stefani is telling the story of like a relationship that is over now 
Um, and, and it basically she's talking about how you, know, you broke the set, now there's only singles, there's no looking back and this time I mean it. Are you happy now? Oh, tell me how, are you happy now? Um, and as I was seeing that, I did see 11-11, or I'm sorry, as I was hearing that, I did see 11-11. So it, immediately or initially that made me think that this is a twin flame situation and this absolutely could be a twin flame situation for you, but it doesn't have to be just that, okay? So understand that this is not just a twin flame reading, but this is for anybody who would resonate with this type of situation. And whether the, uh, and either the 1111 could resonate as, you know, the twin flame situation for you, or 1111 could also represent um, needing to stay focused and stay optimistic. Because even though in some, for somebody here, this relationship is over or this situation is over, this circumstance, this dynamic between you and a significant other, you and a, like a significant other being like um, a, a spouse or a romantic partner or some friends, maybe a best friend or a group of friends. Uh, this could resonate for you in terms of your job um, or a, a business or a company you used to work for. This could also resonate for you in terms of family. I mean, there are so many different ways that I was picking up on for the collective that this could resonate. And so that was even more encouraging me to bring this message to the collective here. But it doesn't matter because ultimately the situation is done and over. But what I'm really getting from the situation is that there were some really hard um, boundaries or really tough or rough and or unfair stipulations that were being put on somebody in order to, in effect, to conform, okay? And like I said, I did talk about this a little bit in the SIP. Um, and what I did mention in the SIP around this and what kind of came out was that there seemed to, first of all, the situation was unfair. It was very one-sided. Whatever the situation was for you, it was very one-sided. And it could very well have been that either the people or person you were connected to or dealing with in this situation were get, trying to get you to conform or were trying to, whether they were sabotaging you like physically, like actually doing things to sabotage you, or just sending you negative energy, there seems to be some sort of way that people were trying to get you to align with them so that they didn't have to align with you or they didn't have to do any work to meet you halfway. Okay, so either these people were sa continually sabotaging your efforts to make the situation work um, or they were sabotaging you in terms of your efforts outside of the, their involvement because they didn't see you, they didn't want to see you succeed without them or they didn't want to see you succeed in a way that they were not able to succeed. Um, well, how, whatever this is for the collective or for whomever in the collective is resonating for the, resonating with this, the, the the baseline here or what really this boils down to it feels like across the board that this feels like is the people that you were involved with of which that or the person that you were involved with that of which this situation is now done and over they didn't want to do anything to change their point of view or change their ways and they were requiring you to do all of the work or all of the work was ending up being handed off onto you or was landing on your shoulders. You were doing what it is you, you were being told you needed to do or what you thought you needed to do in order to be able to get this situation to work out. But it wasn't working out because they, for some reason, the other people involved, were not keeping up their end of the bargain. That seems to be, I mean, for me personally, if you know me and if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I often have a way of relating to these situations with the collective, um, you know, in a personal way, and often these situations resonate with me. Now, I'm not gonna go into complete detail about it, but I will say that I, I understand how this could work out and I understand how this would be really frustrating because we do make these contracts when we come into this world, uh, in these physical incarnations. And yes, we have things that we are, we agree with other people to experience and maybe work on and maybe do better than, you know, since the last time, the last round that you were involved with these people or these souls in incarnations. But there are no guarantees, 
Okay. Um, and you know, everybody has their right to free will. So there's really a big old wild card event <laughs> in coming down here because yes, we map this out. We have idea, an idea of things that we want to accomplish or things that we want to achieve, but it all boils down to not only your free will when you're actually in the moment, okay, which is a big factor, but also the free will of other individuals. And for me, how I've been experiencing this situation in my meditations and when I really connect with spirit and everything like that, I keep getting this message of individuals, whether it's a masculine voice or a feminine voice, individuals telepathically apologizing to me, literally saying, I'm sorry, Eric. And I've been asking this question. It's like, why, what are these apologies? And what I keep getting is that these are coming from individuals or people who have screwed up, people who have failed to show up for me personally in my life in ways that they were meant to, in, some, in ways that, you know, in ways that would have been supportive. Um, and a lot of this is coming from, you know, the family dynamic and everything like that. But, but, but also this is helping me understand, my, my experience of this is helping me understand how this is translating for the collective. So some of you may actually Actually have been hearing those telepathic messages lately and a lot of the time they are coming from those individuals that um, we have identified as our or that have been identified as our twin flames okay there, there, there is a big collective push to keep up with the status quo um, and that's really what a lot of us are, are dealing with right now but the but the fact of the matter is in this moment what we're going to be diving into in this reading, I know I've been rambling a lot, but I wanted to set the stage and I wanted to just explain a little bit of this before we start getting into cards. But basically, this message is about those of you that have been really struggling to stay in alignment with individuals that you were meant to be associated with in this lifetime. You were meant to have certain outcomes, you were a, a goals that you wanted to achieve or certain outcomes that you wanted to achieve, wanted to achieve or certain um, relationship dynamics that you were guided to have, supposed to have, intended to have, but that didn't work out. And the big thing, the big, 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 big thing about this, you guys, is that there seems to have been some sort of collective push to keep up with the status quo. And that made you or whomever would be resonating with this reading, that made these, these individuals like us, the pariahs, the ones that, the, the black sheep, the ones that were either get with, were being told to either get with the program, like be like us, or you're gonna have to be pushed out or you're gonna have to go. When we were the ones that were trying to help people see, we were trying that we were the ones that were trying to help people awaken, trying to help people open up, but they just didn't want to do it. And you know what? That's per perfectly fine. It is well within their, their free will, their personal law of free will that each and every person has the right to. It is with it, well within their right to do these things. But then, but that's still gonna have to be overcome later. But the fact of the matter is right now that the situation is done and over. And even, I'll go so far as to say this, before I started um, channeling or, or recording this reading, um, I did listen to the song while I was cleaning off my table and getting ready. And I did play the song. Again, it's called Happy Now, question mark. It's by No Doubt. It's off the Tragic, um, Tragic Kingdom album. <clears throat> excuse me and um instead of just listening to that one song i decided to play that song but then listen to the rest of the album on shuffle as i was getting ready and right after that song played the next song that played was end it on this let's end it on this give me one last kiss it's over that's another song off of the tragic tragic kingdom album and that was a confirmation to me that, yeah, whatever this situation is or was for you, it's done and over. It's done. Okay. And that's also what I was channeling for in the SIP for that collective reading when we were talking about this. This situation is done. There is no going back at this point. 
uh, the people who were in opposition to you or the person that was in opposition to you have sufficiently made their point and they've gotten what they wanted. They are staying exactly where they are. They are not changing. They are not growing. And this relationship or this dynamic is not moving forward in any way, shape or form. And the big thing about it is I really hope they're happy or that we really like I, I hope they're happy, you guys, because they have literally at this point, they have gotten exactly what they wanted. But what they don't realize is what they have been wanting is not what they need. And they're going to wake up. I promise you, it, I feel very strongly that they are going to wake up later on realizing what they have done, realizing what they have lost. But at that point, you are going to be far, far away. Okay. Now I want to double check, make sure we're still rolling here. Yes. I don't, I don't know if I have much. Oh no. I, I have a good amount of battery left. Let's get into this. <clears throat> I want to get into the cards and see what this, whew, 16 minutes in, I was a bit of a ramble, but I had to set the stage. So let's get into this reading here. So, um, I really hope they're happy. They got what they wanted. I hope they're happy. Let's get into this. What do you want to say to the collective about this, please, Spirit? Can you give us God's source creator? Thank you so much for, first of all, for bringing us together in this moment. Thank you so much for allowing me to be a channel for your messages, for your word, and for your guidance. Can you please provide us with a little bit of backstory in terms of this situation? Um, they got what they wanted, and I hope they're happy. What do you, what can you say to us about this at this point? Please, spirit. Last shuffle here. All right. Okay, here we go. What do you want to say about this God source creator? All right, well, look. First thing that's at the bottom of the deck right now, and this is exactly what came through when I channeled this for the sip. But we have the Eight of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. Now, for those of you that are on the receiving end of this that have been effectively been excommunicated or pushed out or labeled a pariah or something like that because you weren't going to conform to the status quo because you knew something was not right about it and you knew that you were meant to stand against it and you knew that you were meant to come forward and help other people wake up and be more authentic to themselves or get into greater alignment with God, source, creator, whatnot, whatever. You need to understand that this is a blessing in disguise for you because your pathway is now going to be clear and for many of you i feel like you are receiving a brand new assignment if you want to say it that way if you if you look at it that way okay but this is also a double-edged sword because this means for the other people that you're involved with here their pathway is clear too but quite frankly that's not really what that's not what we intended here their pathway was supposed to be clear because, or the obstacles were supposed to be gone because they were in greater alignment. They were able to achieve a greater alignment with God's source creator. But that's not what they got. What they have now is a clear pathway of their own because they don't have this pariah coming through trying to save them anymore. But then you're just there. But what I'm hearing is they're just going to run into more trouble and more detriment later on. They're literally, you guys, they're literally being given exactly what they're asking for. And that has nothing to do with you. And it is not your fault. You have not done anything wrong. You have not failed. I mean, they have not failed either, either but this, at, at least in this go around, we'll say it just didn't work out. Okay. So what, can you give us a little backstory? What do you want to say about this connection or this situation, please, spirit? King of Cups is the very first card out to the Knight of Cups. Okay. What do you want to say about this, please, Spirit? The High Priestess. And, <laughs> wow, the Knight of Wands. Okay. Um, overall energy is the King of Swords. This is their aspect, King of Swords. Okay. Um, your aspect here, 
the individual that has been, the, the, we'll call you the light worker. The light worker here, this is you. The king of cups, the knight of cups, the high priestess, and the knight of wands. You are represented as the king of cups, not because you are a man or a masculine energy per se, but it really, the king of cups here represents a level of emotional mastery, emotional availability, okay? Um, being willing and able to weather the storm. Okay, being willing and able to sit in the madness or to sit in the, the challenge and to meet and face this challenge head on, to hold your head up high and to be a, um, what, what, how do I want to say this? Uh, to be a, a, willing, a willing party to helping or, or creating something new out of the storm that was raging. The Knight of Cups is that energy of you extending your heart. The High Priestess represents your connection to the divine, your connection to God's source creator, your connection to the, and belief in the non-physical. Okay, the Knight of Wands is that light worker or that light bearer energy. But these individuals are showing up now as the King of Swords. This is what you were facing. Okay, and what I'm getting specifically with the King of Swords is this is an overly logical situation or an overly logical individual. What I'm getting from the King of Swords is someone that looks at the King of Cups and all of their woo-woo-ness or all of their like spirituality, blah, 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 all that bullshit type of energy and says, I don't see any tangible evidence of that in my life. Therefore, I'm not going to work with that. I'm not going to believe you. I'm not going to give in to what you have to say. I'm not even going to listen to what you have to say. Now, I understand that that's very much a King of Swords reversed type of energy, but I don't leave my cards living in the deck in reverse. So, okay, but so I'm just going to channel this and I'm just going to figure, I'm just going to pull it as it is. And the first thing that I saw with this King of Swords is that you were dealing with individuals that did not want to believe in you did not want to believe in what you had to say, okay? Now, continuing, we have Justice, Temperance, the Star, the Seven of Swords, and then the Hierophant, finally, to death. There's our reading right there. Okay. Now, um, I just wanted to pause for a second to, to continue to channel this message. Um, because the, the uh, justice came out also while I, the first time I channeled this during the sip, because I was asking why this situation was coming to a close now. And the reason why it was, it, the, the, the reason for <clears throat> the cycle or the situation to come to close, the answer was justice, because the situation had become unbalanced and unfair. It really does feel like there were efforts to sabotage you or this individual, whomever we are talking about here, it does really does feel like there were efforts to sabotage your situation, your energies, to make it so that you did not succeed or you could not move forward because if you did, you would make them look bad. Why? Because you were doing the exact thing that you knew could be done and would be done, but the exact same thing that they didn't want to believe in or the exact same thing that they, they did not want to accept because then that, mean that, that means that they would have to change their point of view or they would have to change their mindset or they would have to change their, e or their, their, their um, opinion about the situation and their egos didn't like that. They did not want to be proven wrong. So what did they do? They dug their heels in. And so now as an effect, the situation is broken. Justice is being served here because the scales are being balanced and also uh, harmony is being restored into your life because you have no control over, the, over these other people. So finally, and so, so you only have control over yourself and you have been controlling yourself quite well. I will say that the King of Cups, but they, but they haven't been objective enough, we'll say. And so now the universe seems to be releasing you from this situation in order for you to have the freedom to move on about your life. 
because these people or this person has made it very clear that they don't want to follow suit. They don't want to go any further. They want to stay stuck and stagnant or they want to stay in their current mindset, whether you see that as low vibrational or not. It, quite frankly, it, it truly is in, in many ways. They don't want to move from that. They don't want to budge. They are making their, they are using their own right to free will to stay exactly where they are within the status quo, the Hierophant. And so now you are being released from this. I understand that is bittersweet. I understand that there is a lot of sorrow coming from this, but ultimately you are being released from it because there's no longer a reason for you have to, for you to have to fight against this if they're just not, if they don't want to do it. They've made their decision, so I really hope that they're happy, right? Now, continuing, you have the star with the seven of swords, but then the hierophant. And what I'm getting with this part here, the star with the seven of swords, is that these individuals, maybe at one point, were, on, were kind of in alignment with you. I don't want to say they were fully in alignment with you, but at one point, maybe they looked at you and maybe they believed in what it is you believed in. Or maybe they could see a way that this could work out. But ultimately, if they did try and make it look like they were on your side, it was a lie. The Seven of Swords. It was all an effort to get you to be on their, on their side so that eventually they could get you to align with the Hierophant, the status quo or the stagnation that they were in. They didn't want you to change because, or I'm sorry, well, no, yeah, they didn't want you to change. They didn't want you to step out. They didn't want you to go in a different direction because then that would reflect poorly on them. Or at least that would make them have to change as well. And so they did whatever they can, could really lie, ste steal, and lie, cheat, and steal to try and preserve their status quo or their way of life. And it seems that's exactly what they're getting. Okay, I want to clear this up. I want to look at what this means for you. Let's shuffle this a few more times. So what does this mean for you? The person that is being released from this situation. You broke the set, now there's, there's only singles, there's no looking back, and this time I mean it. Are you happy now? Well, tell me how you're happy now. Like, really, I really hope these people are happy because they are getting exactly what it is that they want. They're getting exactly what it is that they deserve. And I don't want this to be a whole like bashing type of situation. I don't want this to turn into a really low vibrational situation, but this is the message that came through that I'm channeling for the collective. And so I really, I, I'm just gonna keep it real. I'm gonna keep it 100, I'm gonna keep it, it is what it is. To whomever thought that they could sabotage this individual, or this individual's right to freedom and free will and expansion and growth all because they didn't you didn't want to face your own bullshit i hope you're happy with what it is you receive from here on out because listen up let me tell you this situation between you and this person is done you never have to hear from them. You never have to see them. You never have to be burdened by them. You never have to be nagged by them. You never have to be pushed to awaken by them ever again. You can turn right around, go right back to bed and go back to sleep and not even worry about it. But let me tell you this, and spirit and the divine are saying the exact same thing to you. I hope you are happy. I hope you have gotten or, and you continue to receive everything that it is you want or everything that you think it is you will receive in your current state. Because let me tell you something right now. You're not getting another drop of anything from this person ever again. So for you, the individual that is watching this, the individual that has actually, the light worker that has actually been released from this situation, what does this mean for you? What does this mean for the light worker, God? The moon, 
the Knight of Wands. Okay, you're still going to be a light worker. Oh, but look at this. Seven of Swords, Two of Swords. Okay, what does this mean for the light worker? Page of Swords. <laughs> Ace of Swords, Two of Cups. Anything else? And the Ace of Pentacles reversed. That is confirmation right there that this person is not going to be giving any, giving, providing anything to you any longer or to that other situation any longer. You have the moon. So it does look like you are in, or this light worker here is in a moment where they're still in their light worker energy, but they don't know what's ahead of them or you don't know what's ahead of you. However, what we can say is that the deception here of the two of the seven of swords, the deception here that you were dealing with in this past situation, you're not even focusing on that any longer. I am definitely feeling like you are, even though there is a level of heartbreak here, but that hasn't come out with the five of cups. It has not come out, but there is a level of grief and remorse here but there's also a level of relief that you can move forward and be clear of this mission this mission this mission has been bogging you down okay it's been holding you hostage is what i'm hearing you haven't been i mean you haven't been able to sleep at night you've been plagued by this situation you're like sitting here like god what am i supposed to do i know i'm i'm trying to keep up my end of the bargain here or at least what i can remember is my end of the bargain because we all deal with the veil of forgetfulness when we come into this incarnation but like i, I don't understand why isn't this working what am i supposed to do well you're free of that now now, for some of you, this does resonate as a, re a romantic relationship. You have the Page of Swords, the Ace of Swords, the Two of Cups. And what I'm getting with this is you have figured out, you have found the truth here. And that truth is you're going to love yourself. Or that truth also is you deserve a loving partner. This could very well be a romantic situation. This could also very well be a lover's, uh, I'm sorry, a, a twin flame situation. Okay. Now, just like I channeled in the sip here, you do have the Ace of Pentacles. For us right now, this Ace of Pentacles in reverse. The new opportunity has not come forward yet. The new pathway, the new alignment, the new mission has not come forward yet, but there is bound to be something new, a new assignment with this Ace of Pentacles. Anything else you wanna say? Oh, look at that, the Five of Swords. Oh boy, okay. And one last card, please, Spirit. One last card for this. There it is right there. There it is right there. The Wheel of Fortune. And overall energy is the chariot. Listen here. For this light worker, I want to make it very clear to you. I need you to understand. God, source, creator needs you to understand that you are still fully in alignment and still fully in check. Okay? Nothing about this is your fault. This Ace of Pentacles here, also, while it does represent a new opportunity, potentially, that's not quite here yet, this Ace of Pentacles also represents the rejection of your offer of some sort of substance or some sort of tangible relationship with these individuals that want to do nothing but fight you. Five of Swords. And thus, because of that, you have a big old change in your assignment, in your enlistment, this chariot energy here, I need you guys to understand, okay, spirit is really, really, really pushing this one forward. But this chariot energy here is a reminder to you that you are still in alignment. You are still moving forward. And there are plenty of opportunities ahead of you. Don't get me wrong, you guys. Just because this situation is ending doesn't mean that something else can't come up, can't come into your life to replace it. It doesn't mean that you're going to be floating. And I said this in the sip as well while I was talking about this. <clears throat> Excuse me, the first time. This doesn't mean that now that this situation is over and unfortunately you weren't able to reach your goal, that doesn't mean that you're gonna spend the rest of your life floating around in the ethers with nothing to do. No. You are going to be rewarded. You are going to receive a new opportunity. You are going to receive the love that you desire, especially if this resonates for you on a twin flame level. 
okay? Especially if it resonates as a twin flame situation. Okay, I actually have to wrap this up because my phone is going to die pretty soon. So hold on just a moment. All right, guys, we're gonna close this out really quick because I only have 7% battery life on my on my uh, my phone here. But um, closing message for these light workers, please, Spirit. Anything you wanna say to close this message for the light workers here? The Knight of Cups, do not close your heart. Remain open-hearted. Continue to share your light. The lovers, look at this. Oh, look at this, the lovers. Now, some of you and the Page of Wands, see, yeah, okay. Some of you have actually, the reason why this is ending is coming to a close. It's not an effect of um, spirit or God source creator. This is you having made the executive decision to move forward to be in a loving environment or to close out this chapter or close off this connection with this person or these people in order to be in situations where you are accepted, where your, where your truth, where your light, where your honesty, where your love is willfully and willingly accepted, okay? Do not close your heart, okay? The, the lovers here represents a choice and then this page of wands is here. So you have a choice, you guys. And I understand from some of you, this may be a really, uh, something that you may really need to grieve right now, but spirit wants to remind you here that you have a choice. You can either choose to stay down about it for extended periods of time, or you can choose to step up and say, I'm ready for the next thing, God. I know we weren't, I might actually, this is actually kind of making me um, want to cry a little bit because <laughs> I'm kind of resonating with this too. But I know that we weren't able to achieve this mission that you weigh the way that you wanted us to. And I'm so sorry, but I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to forget you and I'm not going to move away from you and I'm not going to reject you maybe like these other individuals are and will be. I am ready for my next assignment, Page of Wands. <laughs> Okay. All right. That's beautiful, you guys. I do want to get one or Oracle card here. Oh, God, do I have enough time for this? You know what? No, I'm not even going to risk it. I have 1% battery life. I love you guys. I hope this was helpful for you. And I look forward to connecting with you again. I have to go because my battery is going to die. Okay. But take care. I love you guys. And I'll speak with you soon. Bye.